Hey, what's up? This is Ed with edhard.me, and in this SketchUp snippet, I'm going to cover cutting miter joints on uh, half round molding. And you can see here uh, on this desk plan, uh, you can see this plan over at my website, edhard.me, but I have some half round molding around the desktop, and it's joined with a miter angle uh, at the corner. And so I'm going to show you how to create a mitered corner on this quarter or half round right uh, right now so let's come over so let's come over to a blank canvas and I'm going to use my two-point arc tool to uh, create the end of the molding so I'm going to click at the origin and I'm going to drag up three quarters because this is three quarter inch uh, thick molding and then I'm going to pull out along my red axis three-eighths inch because that's how wide the molding is. And so now I have a, uh, a rough semicircle, and I'm just going to attach the two endpoints with my pencil tool so I have a surface to work with. All right, so this is the molding profile, and I'm going to use the push-pull tool just to push that out uh, a couple inches. So now um, you might think I just could just grab this face of the molding and use my rotate tool on the blue axis to come out here and uh, maybe turn that 45 degrees. Now, but the problem when we do that is that it's sh it's it's pulling that that face away from the 3 8 inch piece. So while if I do that at 45 degrees, while the distance on this side is 3 8 inch, the, the, the width of the molding will have shrunk here. I'm going to undo that and uh, I'm going to draw some guides to kind of show you what I'm talking about. And these guides are also going to be used to get our mitered end. So I'm going to start out here and draw a guide to the 3 8 inch area. Okay, so now I also want to essentially form a box with my guides. So I'm going to come up here to the end point of my molding and I pull along my red axis to uh, the 3 8 inch point and here as well. So this sort of creates a box around the end. Now I want to create some 45 degree guides. So I'm going to use my protractor tool and come up here on the blue axis. Uh, come out to my guide point and then create a 45 degree angle at both the top let's see turn that so you can see it a little bit better and at the bottom so again let me get the blue and I'll drag that around to 45 degrees okay so now if I rotate around you can see I've, I've created the profile of where I want this this uh, mitered corner to be. So now I'm going to create uh, a couple more guides to create the, the, the plane that I'm going to uh, drag and resize this piece to. So um, let me get my ruler tool and I want to come out from this 3 8 inch guide point directly to the 45 degree spot so I can kind of turn my model a little bit so I can I can work with it easier and so I'm going to click and drag that along the green axis to the 45 degree guide and I'm going to do the same thing right down here with the other one okay and then I'm going to draw another guide and connect that so now if I come down here you'll see I've sort of got a uh, the corner piece and you'll notice what I was talking about a minute ago if I take the rotate tool and I try to turn so you see I have the face still highlighted if I take the rotate tool and try to drag it out and turn it at a 45 degree angle you can see when I'm here and I and which is exactly what I want to do but now it's moved away from the guide. So this piece right here is not 3 8 inch uh, thick.
but it is back over here because I haven't moved this this back side. So if I just rotate around, uh, let's see, I can use my ruler tool, see, and so on this side of the molding, I'm still 3 8 three eighths inch thick. So let me rotate back around and show you how we're going to fix this. Okay, so what we essentially want to do is take just this face and use our scale tool to scale it up to right where our guides are. So I'm going to take this uh, this point that's right on the edge and I want to stretch that point up to my guide and SketchUp will snap to it as long as you get your cursor close so now again I'm only moving this face or I'm only scaling this face so it's not affecting the other side of my uh, piece of molding and I'm going to click and so now if I click off of that I'll be able to see it's right on that line. So now this mitered angle is is 3 eighths inch thick if I were to measure uh, perpendicular and if I scroll around I'll see that it has not changed the other side if I find my midpoint. So 3 eighths inch. So that way I can create a mitered corner and to, to do the other side, I would just use the same technique and set, go the other direction. Um, but it's a little bit of a tricky, complicated uh, uh, thing to do. But once you get the hang of it using the guides, it goes pretty quickly. It'll take you a little while to get the gist of it. But once you do, you won't have to use quite as many guides uh, on your project. So that, that is uh, how to create a mitered corner on a piece of half round molding. For, uh, for the whole uh, desk project plan that I've taken this from, you can get that over at uh, edhart.me and you can also see a lot of other cool projects and models that you can download and uh, project plans that you can do. So uh, head on over and check it out.